welcome. I'm so excited to be sharing this video today. I have been very busy with the new job and this room makeover, so I wasn't able to post anything last weekend. But I'm all back to speed now. Thank you for sticking with me. This room makeover started during last summer, but had to take a back seat for a while when we were busy with the outside projects uh, the whole summer and fall. So when the snow came, we decided to getting this project up and running again. Uh, this summer we picked up and put up the wallpaper and that's about it until now, where we've completed the paneling and painting. There's still much left to do. We will build a shelving system as well as a desk area for us to work. We're also going to decorate the space, but all of this will be in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. This was the second wallpaper experience for me after we did the hallway makeover. I really don't like the process, even though it's worth it in the end. We decided between this lovely, happy, sunny and delicious wallpaper and between a more blue, cold toned floral wallpaper that was also very pretty. But I'm so happy we chose this one. It's the room where summer never dies. Cutting the wallpaper about a third of the way, since we'll be using beadboard with the beautiful trim on top. Cut to now where we're cleaning out the office. It's a mess, we haven't been using it much, but now that I'm working from home two days a week, I needed to prioritize it. We're measuring and cutting the panel and trims. We already had all of this at home from when we bought it this summer, so everything went quite smoothly. We just had to buy some more paneling a few times. I am going to be honest and say that this project was quite expensive, but honestly so worth it. I love this room so much, it makes me happy.
We attached the panel with nails, mixing with the nail gun and hammering by hand. We have drywall so the nail gun wasn't always enough.
dried up bones I'm running wild on this old night Sitting by the traffic light So I don't know After all the panels and trims were attached, we caulked any seams and holes. And all that's left now is paint. I chose a white paint with undertones that would complement the wallpaper. It has a bit of a warmer tone. I painted two coats. At first I used a paintbrush, but after a while my shoulders started to hurt, so I switched to a paint roller. And I used the brush for trims and in between the panels, and I think it worked out great. I have said this in other videos too, but when we built this house, my mind was set to give it character. I have never been able to do things like this. I have always lived in apartments, but living with my mom growing up, she always had wallpaper or paint on the walls, and I'm just allergic to stark white walls now. I also kind of wanted the house to feel a bit older and lived in, even if it's brand new. And to be able to give our home our own personal touch from a blank canvas is a blessing. I tend to go for florals and subtle colors. I like warm tone colors and lots and lots of green. We are transforming one room at a time and I'm so glad I decided doing this videos uh, for us to look back and see what we've accomplished. This house was truly a blank canvas for us to make it into our own. We have done so much this far and I love it more each day. I am sitting in this office right now surrounded by this amazing wallpaper and looking at all the mindful details and designs and I feel so proud of us. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like or a comment, it would make me so happy. Subscribe for more upcoming projects, I have just finished the office slash studio upstairs and I'll be sharing that very very soon. Take care, bye bye!